Oh, there you are. In this second lesson, I mainly want to provide an introduction to the methods applied in hyperspectral remote sensing for agriculture. How do you actually get from air and space-borne imagery, and maybe some field and lab data, to accurate maps? You already know about the vegetation traits we are interested in how to collect reference samples in the field. So in this lesson, I will give a brief overview of the technical specifications of imaging spectroscopy data and some necessary pre-processing before we dive deeper into methodological aspects. You'll get an overview on which methods are generally applied in an agricultural context. We explain the difference between regression and mechanistic models as well as hybrid models. Hybrid methods combine the advantages of regression and mechanistic models. We will focus on hybrid models in this course, so I'll explain them in more detail so you are properly prepared for Lesson 3. And finally, we will set up a workflow on how to proceed from your research or real-world question to data selection and acquisition to, ta-da, the final map product.